What is going on my YouTube nerds? Uh, this is Conning Around as always and I am your host Mike. Uh, this one's kind of a big one. Like I said in my previous video, this is basically part two of the mail call, grail call, all sorts of cool stuff. Uh, but this one's kind of the larger set so I figure we'll just kind of get right into this. Uh, so the first thing I got here, this was all one mail call that I got from one person, to another friend of ours, he was, who sells off his kind of, who kind of get rid of a lot of his collection. He doesn't want all of it. He's kind of focusing on one specific thing. So he asked us first if we'd like a stab at it. And of course there's some things we said, yes, definitely. Uh, first thing we got here, we... Got this one because we were going to Rose City Comic Con and uh, is it Junus Swotamos? I'm completely probably butching that one. Uh, he is the new Chewbacca who's also in the Han Solo movie. Uh, this is that Solo 2 pack, which is your uh, from your Smuggler's Bounty. I was supposed to get these but I never they canceled my order for some reason I never got it so I I did get this one so I'm okay getting this because I, I needed the two pack because I like I said I did enjoy the movie oh wow they kind of put them both on oh that's adorable they put them on one stand by themselves and they're chained together that is so awesome how they kind of had the dirty solo and kind of like a ragged looking uh Chewbacca oh that is so cool looking but yeah this is that this is that moment where you, s you see them together and he's like you know you ask them you know how old are you and he's like 190 wow you look great oh that's a really cool looking one I'm actually very happy I even though he canceled I'm still super happy that I got this one. I will meet them. I will get this sign. Hopefully by both of them. Uh, the next one I got, kind of go, we'll kind of keep with the theme of uh, Star Wars, I guess. And this is another one that came from the one of the boxes. This is the Stormtrooper on the speeder bike. Like I said, I same thing. This was canceled. I think I'm still missing one, one or two others. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm picking them, kind of picking them up as they go. Oh, uh, with the speeder bike, this is a classic look. When they're on Endor. Oh, even the ground's a little bit different on the stand on this one. Yeah, there he is on his speeder bike. I mean, this thing is so cool looking. Even though it's kind of weird. Like, he's looking this way, but the logo is this way. So it's kind of like he's going away. Not really towards you. Uh, now I love the detail of this one though. I mean even all the underside stuff you can kind of you can kind of see all like the gears and stuff like that up and underneath here. It's really it's still really detailed even though you don't see it all. It is still really cool looking. It's still a classic classic thing from from the original movies. Yeah, this one's really cool though. I gotta put this with the Ewoks and all that stuff. It's gonna be gonna be absolutely amazing. Uh, Alright, so the next one I got is it's it was an Entertainment Earth exclusive. There were seven of these. I got five of them because like I said, he only he collected a specific set of these, which was the Batman and Superman. Which is okay. I got five of the seven. And I'll get those other two, but it is the uh, the silhouette uh, original, basically the original like ones, but they're the black and black and blue glow in the dark. Uh, so you got like your Aquaman. I said you have your Flash and Cyborg. Uh, not Flash and Cyborg. Green Lantern and Cyborg. My bad. Here's the flash in my hand and Wonder Woman. 
But we'll kind of pop these open real quick and just take a look at them. I think actually the flash looks one of the coolest. It kind of gives it that, uh, in my opinion, kind of gives it that like zoom look. But yeah. I'm really enjoying these. The glow on these, I already kind of, I kind of looked at them. The glow is not bad. I mean, this one, these, the glow on these aren't the best. I actually kind of prefer if they were just solid black and blue. They don't have to be glow in the dark on these ones, I think. I think they stand out kind of perfectly. There's the Wonder Woman with her lasso of truth. The big hair, really uh, flat hair. Kind of looks makes it look more like a helmet a little bit but you know basing off of the the original wave of the dc ones you know they're going to kind of just basically kind of keep the original look but here's the aquaman which actually looks makes look makes aquaman look really cool looking in my opinion they they all look really cool in my like I said, the glow on these aren't the greatest. I mean, it's just basically these eyes, they don't really pop like some of the newer stuff has popped. But the gloves and all that stuff. Uh, the Green Lantern. There's the Green Lantern. I mean, I don't know if you'd rather just basically just be a Black Lantern or... Yeah, like I said, I mean, there wasn't there wasn't much for these to glow off of, anyways, in my opinion. So just the regular, I mean, I think the best one would probably be the cyborg, just because he actually has some stuff that can, parts of him that can actually glow. But cyborg looks really interesting the way he is. So, but yeah. So, I mean, I'm still very super happy with getting these. It's kind of hard to tell, like, when you actually, without, without, oh, there's some, there's a little bit of damage on the back there, but nothing too bad. I can deal with that. I'm not upset at all. All right. So, the next thing I got here was from the Marvel Collector Core. It released on the, the site. To pick, to buy, it sold out pretty quickly, which was to be expected. But it is the Iron Man, the gold Iron Man, uh, Tales of Suspense for uh, 40. Yeah, Tales of Suspense 40. So, the gold Iron Man. Like I said, they released this one as by, by itself. Uh, later on, there wasn't any like box or anything. It was just a special release they did. So, oh, there's a classic, like, awesome look of him. Still really cool. Still really, not quite chrome, but close to being chrome. Which I'm very, I would have been pretty cool to have. Because, like I said, I've been getting into chrome. Starting to love all the chrome stuff lately. Uh, last one I got here now. Like I said, this one, I did... It's still a grail, not the higher end grails, but it's definitely a grail for some people. And it is the Bane from the Dark Knight Rises. Uh, oh, let's see if we can get in this one. By now, I actually have this whole set, so I'm kind of glad to actually complete it. It's done. Uh, he looks, uh, he looks very purple compared to what his, uh, like, if you look at his skin color there, he's, like, a lot darker. Like, he got a tan. You know, that's what he got. He went out, he got some sun. You know, he's going to have that terrible tan line right across the face there. But, no, he still looks really, still looks really cool. Uh... Not my favorite of the movies, not my favorite of that trilogy, but I, I do like Tom Hardy and I do like Bane, 
this bane was a little bit off for me, but nonetheless, still, still, it's still a nice one to have. I'm still very happy to have this one. It's definitely, uh, look at those eyebrows. I mean, those eyebrows are pretty amazing looking. But yeah, like I said, nothing too much. Uh, like I said, it was just kind of a big mail call. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like down there. Subscribe if you have not. Uh, comment as always. I always appreciate it. And, you know, you guys are great. You guys have yourselves a fantastic evening and you take care. See ya.